Hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome back to Tower of Guns. So, it's cake down, and uh, we're playing on nightmare mode, as usual, because now our real goal is pretty much going to be, you know, finish nightmare mode uh, any way we possibly can. Rimrid is not happy with us here, which is a wee bit concerning, but uh, should be fine. Anyway, so we're starting off with one extra jump and a jump height, which is going to be pretty good. Let's not leave the level by accident, because that would be really unfortunate. Because there's a secret here. Multiple, hello, blue EXP. Sweet. Okay, so, we're already at level level 3, which is great. We've got a fair amount of gear, quote-unquote, gear, perks, I don't know. Bonuses. Stat-ups. Words. Anyway. So, we're, we're going into this nightmare run pretty well equipped. The question is, is, uh, is this going to be enough to give us the boost we need? The answer is, I have no freaking clue and hopefully it will be nice to us hopefully the frame rate will be nice to us because right now i'm running at about you know 30 and that's usually scary because usually i'm going at 45 and if we if we stick at this we'll be fine if we go lower it's gonna look a little bit choppy and that's not something i'm very fond of anyway so we're running the babble gun as well because i'm finding the splash damage to be largely necessary also this gun and the 609 millimeter hand cannon are by far the two most powerful guns I think that are, you know, easy to acquire without cheating or anything like that. At some point, once I've beaten, you know, Nightmare Mode legitimately, and if I beat it today on this run, then I'm going to call it legitimate, even though I had Cake Town helping me out here. Because really, it was just an extra jump, which, I mean, kind of helps balance out, maybe, kind of, sort of. Kind of depends on your perspective, but built into the game, right? Right. So... If I, if I beat Nightmare Mode like this, I might start doing Nightmare Mode with, like, the ah, shrapnel tr trumpet or something like that. Knew something like that was gonna... Oh, shoot. I was hoping to not use all of the health pickups. So oh, well. Let's see what's over here. The answer is a little bit of coinage. Not really much else. Not terribly surprised by that fact. Let's get the heck out of here. So the one concern with the Babble Gun for what we're doing here... Eh, yeah. I think Frame Rate's going to be... Ow. Frame Rate is not going to be... Ow. Spin bots are going to be out. Frame rate is going to be, I think, okay. Anyway, uh, spawn directly on one. Unfortunately, the extra speed from nightmare mode does mean that I can actually, you know, travel to where the enemies spawn before they're fully spawned in. In anyway, let's get as much blue XP as possible because that's going to be the major limiting factor we have. I hear ah, there it is. I hear a spin bot, and there he is. So, uh, blue XP is probably going to be our limiting factor here. Health is definitely always going to be a concern, especially when we're playing on this game mode. Luckily, money and really drops in general are going to be in very high supply, so we don't have to worry too much about a lot of things. Ooh, magnetism. Good. But, eh, either way. So, the one other thing I probably should mention is that I actually have another episode. Episode... I guess it should have been 106, but I didn't record any of my own audio. So, it's a complete no commentary run, which is, you know, by nature, not good. So, uh, whoop. So we fell. Not so bad. But, um, so that episode will be coming at some point. This one will probably come out beforehand because it's a lot easier for me. Because I kind of prefer to record my Tower of Guns episodes live for probably fairly obvious reasons. Ooh, hello, bomb bots. You'll get your turn, and by turn I mean you you can kill yourselves and leave me the hell alone. Anyway, so I've, I actually have a really good episode for you. It's about 50 minutes of me mostly winning Nightmare Mode, which, I mean, realistically is fairly uncommon, but uh, I'll have to figure that one out. I'll probably just do post-commentary talking about all sorts of things. Because I don't actually have to worry about reactionary dialogue. I'll probably just critique things as I go and uh, talk about whatever. Still kind of a shame, because it was really good commentary, for, at least from my perspective. It was, what, the second episode of... Here, let me move the mic closer. Uh, second episode of Tower of Guns that I had recorded since I got back from break. And I was really feeling like I was in the jam. And, well, can't be in the jam if you don't get the dialogue. Oh, well, not that big of a deal. Anyway, I don't think we're going to be able to get up there, but it doesn't seem like there's much of a need. But we can get over here, presumably. Huh. Whoops. This is becoming a problem. I swear I could almost just pick this one up. It's just on the bare edge, but uh, 
That, that would have actually been hilarious if I could somehow steal from the shop. Anyway, let's get through and see who are we fighting. Ah, uh, Dr. Turret. Not terribly surprised. Actually, pretty, uh, pretty pleased about this. Dr. Turret has a butt ton of health, though. This is going to be a long endurance fight, I have to say that. With luck, we'll be okay. The, part, the one problem we're going to run into is there's a shit ton of spin bots coming after us. Yeah, they've, they've already gotten to us. It's kind of a massive pain in the ass, because they don't drop pickups to heal me. So I, I'm going to have to largely stay mobile. It's kind of a problem, kind of not a problem, because luckily we have the splash damage to burn through Dr. Turret's little thing. We just have to make sure we don't take too much damage in the process, because really if I get hit by a spin bot once more, I'm dead. That is the problem with Nightmare Mode, and that's also the problem with... Please don't kill me. I'd very much like to live. Anyway, let's hurdle down, not take any fall damage, get all the way back up to full health, pick up the Death Tutu, even though the Death Tutu is pretty useless, and let's get through and get that very necessary health pickup. So, as far as pickups that we've gotten thus far, we're really not in the best position. I was kind of hoping we'd get a Might pickup or an Armor pickup at some point, but we have gotten neither. Not the end of the world, just, huh, apparently there are some secrets. Well, there's the one up high. Get the feeling they're... Yeah, yeah, that's the only secret I could have... Okay, yeah. I was just trying to do the math in my head. It's like, if you... Uh, if you put together 100% plus... I don't know. Glad we have the extra jumps. Making my life a little bit less painful every day. Anyway. Death 2-2. Two, two. Yeah, it works. Oh. Apparently also blocks... Spiky balls. That's okay. That that is actually put it under on the list as far as actually potentially useful items. Can I get up to the secret? The answer is maybe. I guess it's largely dependent on if I can. What the fuck? I stood on something over here. And I bounced off the ceiling. Okay, never mind, that's not going to be worth it. It seemed like I might actually be able to get there, and I, I think there's a little bit of bad level geometry, but at the same time, it seems like it's going to be more risk than reward in trying to get up there, because normally I'm not going to be able to make the jump just because I'd need one extra jump height. Ooh, hello, wall of cannons. Hello, 8-bit cannon, I'll get to you shortly. I just want to take these guys out first, because they are plenty. And, you know, you can be patient. Okay, so what do we got? We got a lot of cannons sitting around. A lot of cannons ready to be absolutely mean to my face. I don't like things being mean to my face. I like my face. It's an, it's an okay face. Uh, Shell would say it's a nice face. I'd say it's a pretty normal face, if you ask me. <laughs> Shell's just looking at me, just like, Your face is nice. What? Shell's just confused. She wasn't even paying attention. Ah, such is the love. Okay, ah, this homing purple crap. This is scary. Now she's poking me. This is problems. Nightmare mode plus homing purple crap plus fiance poking you. It's nothing but sadness and frustration. Death 2-2, two, two, save me. Death 2-2, two, two, do your job. Wow, this is actually working fantastically well. Apparently death 2-2 two, two blocks bullets, homing purple crap, and all sorts of other actually incredibly useful things. Too bad I've never actually gotten use, uh, used to using it before. Anyway, we've got a shit ton of homing purple crap coming after our heads which instantly means bad things so I have to worry about them hitting hitting me in the back I have to worry about many things hitting me here I'm just gonna fire things off at least the loot is sticking around pretty well and I'm just running because what killed me I believe when I did that like 50 minute run was my nose itching okay please homing purple crap to do not hit me in the next five seconds okay there we go Ah, the nose. The nose is always the itchiest. Okay, so we do have enough jumps, so we can get to the secret. I'm just fleeing for a second to make sure. Okay, what's the ground? Now, with luck, there will be a shop down there, but let's go to the secret first. It looks like it's just coinage, but I could be wrong there. Could actually be something wildly useful, like a uh, might pick up or whatever. There's also a difficulty plus plus down there. We're not going for that. For... What should be very obvious reasons. Anyway, item charge. Item charge. And there we go. Is there a shop down here? And the answer is yes. What is the, what is in the shop? It is difficulty minus minus good. B 
because I really didn't want to get difficulty plus plus. And if I am randomly looking over to the left, it is because my mouse cord is wrapped around something and it's constantly put, trying to push my mouse in a direction. I should probably clean my desk. Unfortunately, when I come back from vacation, everything's a mess and it's like, well, I should clean, but I really don't want to. I'm, I'm like a 12 year old in the body of a 24 year old, except for I'm only 23. So that means I'm good, right? Right. So we've got spiky balls of death, which are scary. And apparently I sat on one. I've never actually sat on a spiky ball before. That was kind of humorous. Anyway, let's get our blue XP back, a little bit of red HP, and get down here and see what we got. It's probably just going to be like, hmm. Well, clearly I know what to do in this situation. Yep, that was a good plan. Blow de death to two and just circle strafe the entire room. Sounds like a good plan to me. Okay, so our blue XP is back up to max. Our cash is pretty high. I mean, not the highest, but it's not going to prevent us from buying anything, which is good because I'm on a shopping spree and there are not enough shops to take my money. Okay, and it also looks like it's this god-awful room. Oh boy, this is... I mean, Torp's, Torp's not actually that scary. What is scary is just the collective forces of everything around. I mean, luckily it looks like we don't have to... Ooh, hello. Okay, time to put this to the test. Death 2-2. Do your freaking job! Okay, yep, looks like most of the turps. Oh, crap. Wow, Death 2 2 even blocks uh, bomb explosions. Too bad it turned off. Wow, we're dying. Um, well, this is a shitty position to be in. At least we didn't lose too much, but I I was like, okay, so whatever whatever comes after us once we hit to the hit the second part here isn't going to be that big of a deal. <laughs> and it was bombs! It was the only thing I couldn't deal with. Why? Okay, well, whatever. Oh, shoot. Can I even get up? Yes, the answer is yes. Good. Unfortunately, most of the loot is mystery boxes. Am I this crazy? The answer is... Nothing happened. I'm going to take that as a sign. A sign to not bother with it. So we're barely above level 5. Luckily, we've got... Luckily or unluckily. Uh, for this room, I'd argue it's kind of mixed bag of both. It's got a lot of good secrets in it, if you can get there, but uh, there's also a lot of enemies that spawn in your head, and on nightmare mode, it's actually uh, quite unfriendly. On normal mode, it's it's pretty okay. Nightmare mode, not so much so. So, uh, the other problem is we can't shoot anything that's remotely close to us. Hey, is that a luck pickup? That is a luck pickup. I'm gonna get that before I tango with anybody else, because that's wisdom, right? Oh, actually, it's this room. Well, death tutu, save my ass. Glad I've actually bothered to figure out what this one does. Okay, what is this? Might. Beautiful. And let's kill these guys while we're here. Looks like there's a couple of 8-bit cannons down below. Which, I mean, are... Th oh, no. Not even 8-bit cannons. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, so let's take stock of the situation. Anything up here? Eh, a little bit of cash. I'll, uh, well, I mean, there's nothing else here for me anyway. Thank you, magnetism. That's... It's always one of those where it's like you really don't need that much magnetism, but you always need one. And it's Mama Spinbot. Hello, Mama Spinbot. Are you here to be incredibly stuck? Well, the oh shit. Uh, this is this is really bad. So I'm gonna blow Death Two Two. And actually, since I've got Death Two Two, I'm just going to charge her because apparently Death Two Two blocks all damage that you take. At least as far as I can tell, because enemies would run into me and I wouldn't take damage. Bullets would hit me and I wouldn't take damage. My own splash damage doesn't even seem to do damage to me while I'm running around with de Death 2-2, which suddenly makes the item incredibly useful. Like, it murders most things it touches, too. So that was actually a pretty good strategy, as in charge and kill. I'm a little bit disappointed that Death 2-2 actually drops. I was expecting something like uh, Binding of Isaac's item pool style, where, you know... Once, once an item drops, it never drops again, but uh, I guess this game does not work on that principle. Anyway, it does not look like there's any more items here, so let's go. Let's see what we get, and frame rate is still pretty low, surprisingly. Anyway, this is a pretty good uh, nightmare run. We're going to the battlements too, which is great, especially because we have this many jumps. It's not as many jumps as we could have, like the 50-minute run I was talking about. I think we had five jumps by this point, which was insane. But uh, we do have a might pick up here, which is great. Because that means, homing purple crap, leave me the shit alone. 
Unfortunately, we don't have Death Tutu up and running. Now we do. Uh, just creates the question of when do I want to use it? Because I could use it, like, directly now, and then just immediately run in and just murder side everything. Yep. Death Tutu blocks splash damage from your own guns. That, I don't think, is an intentional side effect, but I am very glad it's there. Anyway, we've got somebody there. There you are. I was wondering where he went. I was like, I, I thought we were fighting a guy, but I guess he just checked out. And the answer is no, he didn't check out so much as he's just hiding up above. Like a lame sauce. Anyway. It's a grind. Yeah, the frame rate is variable. I guess this is what I get for doing a digital painting, and then Wizard's Lizard, and then recording Tower of Guns. Of course it's going to be all over the place. Hey, oh, shit. Well, this is... Uh, please, Death 2 2. Actually, no, this isn't so bad. I was afraid for like 10 seconds, but no, this is actually going to be pretty okay. Because we've got, I think, the biggest entourage of bombs and spin bots chasing. Actually, just one spin bot, apparently. Uh, mostly just bombs. Wow. Oh, this is different. So, as I was mentioning, I did the 50 minute run, came into this room, and it was. Oh, God damn it. I thought they were all dead. Guess not. Anyway, we're gonna be okay here. There's plenty of blue EXP, plenty of HP. We're gonna be a little bit down, should have been paying attention there, but not the end of the world. Get these, and we're pretty much max, actually. This is, this is working out pretty well for us. Still don't know if there are any secrets in this room. I should really look that up, because there is actually a... N mm, there's actually a really nice, fancy wiki guide on where the secrets are in Tower of Guns. So if you want to figure out where all the secrets are, don't ask me, ask that guide. It's very useful, it's what I referred to. Anyway, uh, it's not like I'm advertising here, I guess I really am. I, I guess when, it, when you boil down Let's Playing, I'm essentially just a perpetual advertising machine, both for my own content and any game I play. That said, I'm not going to say it's particularly scummy for me to do so. Oh, looks like we're already to the boss room, that's fine. Looks like we took a saw blade to the face, that's less fine, but that's okay. And it does seem like the extra jump height is making us a little bit slower. Could be my uh, uh, misperception. Could actually be a real thing. Anyway, it looks like we've got a couple of spin bots coming to say hi. I was hoping for... Actually, no, this is pretty much exactly what I was hoping for. There we go. Purple crap. Finally stopped following me. I'm trying to get the luck. Luck. Always appreciated. Anyway. We're full health. We've got a lot of jumps. Jump height. Well, considering we've only got three jumps, might as well get the extra jump height, we're gonna be super bouncy. Now there's the question, should I bother with... Huh, no. Ow. Should I... Oh. Nope, well, okay. I was gonna grab an extra HP to top myself off, and I'm gonna be risky here, because, I, I mean, this run's going well. What did we get? Extra jump added. Thank you very much. I actually didn't know that it was in the pool. Now, the question is... We might take some falling damage here, but, but, we can get up here, which had almost nothing useful for us. The answer is cash money, which, I mean, cash money is nice, cash money got us the extra jump there, but cash money ain't so great. Also, that reminds me, I need to get the 10 tilt achievement at some point. Man, it's like we're moonwalking today. If I win, I'm gonna possibly name this episode Moonwalking for Victory, and it looks like we are fighting the Doom Ball. Well... That's pretty good, because we can jump, we can move really fast, and we got the death tutu, so I'm not concerned in the slightest. Watch me just immediately get brightened in the face by all of these missiles, and we were close there. We were very close. Oh, right. I forgot. Sometimes enemies spawn. Well, death tutu it is. And just go in for the, uh, really, it's not quite a kamikaze attack so much as just like a, I'm invincible, therefore screw you. Now, of course, that does make, uh, does kind of present the unfortunate problem that the Death 2-2 is going to be pretty useless against the Maw and the Gumball Machine, but I really don't care. Anyway, so what do we need? We need armor, we need health. Otherwise, eh, we don't need that much. I, yeah, we found zero secrets there. That's kind of disappointing. I don't even know if there are secrets. And we're going to Hugbot Alley. That's pretty sweet. Eh, there's really not a whole lot in Hugbot Alley, honestly. Like, the motivator's kind of crap, the Captain's Belt's kind of crap. If we could get, like, uh, you know, armor upgrades? If we could get two armor upgrades somehow, it seems completely illogical that we would, but if we could, that'd be nice. I would not 
complain. Anyway, so, what do we get in here? The answer is a coin. One. One coin! Exactly. Yes, exactly what I wanted. The best. Okay, and a might pick up. Thank you very much. Sweet. Okay, so that that has definitely turned things around. We do we probably do a lot of damage. Unfortunately, our survivability is a little bit on the questionable side of things, but you know, eh. I mean, if I can kill everything first, who's gonna care, right? And it looks like we get the captain's belt and a butt ton of blue air XP and cash, all of the things I don't really need, because the death tutu is by far the best. And let's just go through the door. Let's not hit ourselves with splash damage from the door because that would be hilariously unfortunate. Probably wouldn't damage me too much, but still not the kind of thing I want to deal with. Watch us just completely skip the Sanctum again. Except for no, you skip to the Sanctum instead of skipping the seg Sanctum. Anyway. Uh, let's stretch out our jaws because commentating is hard. Stretch out our necks a little bit because staring at a screen hurts after a while. And let's charge forth to victory. So, it does seem that, uh, yep, frame right. Bit pissed at me. Oh, hey, there's cannons on the other side. They didn't tell me about that in the training. Oh, hey, there's a nice little platform here for that cannon to shoot me. Well, I'll just shoot him from here. There we go. And there's plenty of stuff. Thank you. Item charge. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so what do we got up here? The answer is... Ooh, colossal special button. Man, the temptations. That actually presents kind of an interesting issue for us here. Because I like the Death Tutu, actually. But the Colossal Special button, I think, is going to be more useful in the long run. Especially for when we're, say, finding the Gumball Machine. And or the Maul. Oops. I was aiming for the platform and missed. I'm not entirely sure how. Anyway, we can earn ourselves an extra jump. Does not look like any more enemies are going to be spawning on our heads, which is perfect. And this is good. This means we have a lot of dodging potential. We already move very fast. And we're sitting on quite a lot of money, so if we can find more things, looks like we kind of did, kind of didn't. Uh, you know, assuming we get to the Maw, assuming we get to the Gumball Machine, we're going to be in a pretty good spot, which is good, because I've never actually gotten that far, I think. I don't think I have. Anyway, let's, before we get into a position where the spin bots can take us out, let's take out these guys. Because they're jerks, right? Right. They're dead. Okay, and then let's just pick up all the loot, even though we don't need it, because we are a machine gun of death. Now, what do we need? An extra might pick up? Thank you very much. Can't complain about that. Uh, no, I will note that now that we have the Colossal Special button, I'm, al I'm almost never going to use it, but hey, whatever. Now, do we pick up the mystery box? It's been pretty nice to us. The answer is critical chance minus minus. Maybe the mystery b boxes are super nice to you if you're on nightmare mode. I could not complain about that if that was the case. Anyway, we've got another thing up here, item charge. I'm not entirely sure when we're going to hit cap for that, but hey, you, we're sitting on silly amounts of money, so it's not like we're in a bad position. Speaking of silly amounts of money, here's more. And I think there's one more. I think there's one more secret here. I think there's like through here. Yeah, there we go. And it's health. Wow. Things have really, really taken a turn for the nice. Like, I usually... Oh, hey. That's a... What are those ET guns doing? I, I guess they're just trying to turn that, like, extra inch to kill me. Too bad, so sad, you're dead. Watch there just be, like, something really bad directly behind me, like a super spin bot of some sort. It's not the case. And another might pick up. Is that, like, our fourth now? Jeez. What is this game coming to? What? Is, what is... Joe, are you trying to tell me that you want, want me to just murder the world? Because I can do that, or at least I can try. <laughs> Super secret Tower of Guns boss, the world. Anyway, looks like it's this room, which is scary. Because we've got nothing but homing purple crap and damage. Suddenly, death 2 2. Tempting. Let's not take any damage from those bullets. Take out the homing purple crap. S never stop moving because, I mean, never stop believing either. Oh, I'm taking some bullets from something somewhere, I think. That's actually another might pick up over there, which is hilarious. Anyway, let's colossal special button yet again. Actually, I should probably just take these things out because homing purple crap no longer shooting at me, and I can clear the way out just a little bit. It's got hit by something. Why did I just walk into the range of that? Oh well, uh, we're gonna be okay, I think. 
We should probably take out the 8-bit cannon here. There we go. Colossal special button as usual. Not even sure if it's hitting anything, but it charges pretty darn quick. Especially because of all of the item charge pickups that we've managed to get our hands on. Blue XP. Yep, there's our fifth might pickup. Damn. What is with this run? Okay, so... Our health is full, blue EXP is full, thank you, blue EXP plus pluses. And I think I saw something really nice over here. The answer is yes, yes I did. So we get another, uh, we get health up. Which is good. Yeah, l luckily all of the, uh, all of the things that we'd have to worry about disappearing are things that we don't need. Beautiful. Let's get over here, see what's in this secret room. The answer is no, no, nah, -uh. new. No. I don't know why, but I'm just like in this weird sassy mood today. TNT gun mod. Oh, that's... Nope. That's pretty useless to us. And a little bit of coinage down there. Let's just ignore it because, I don't know, sometimes it's nice to just leave a little offering to the gourds. You know. Is pumpkin is... is are pumpkins gourds? They're, oh no, they're a squash. Are squashes gourds? I don't know. The differences of Sort of pseudo vegetables are lost on me. Anyway, let's get all of our blue XP back. Because we're sitting on a fair amount. And if I recall the way these levels are set up, we're going into the super cool room after this. Anyway, mystery box seems to be very kind to me. And the answer is no, it's not actually the same room as usual. Ooh, it's this room. This room is potentially scary. Let's wait for everything to spawn. Colossal special button did not kill everything. Unsurprisingly, holy shit, that's a lot of things. I am... Definitely questioning my sanity as far as staying in here. There's some amount of... Question on whether or not it's sane to stick, in a, stick around in a place that's exploding the crap out of everywhere. But I really would like to get my health back before I go in to fight the boss. So I'm just gonna, I'm not even sure what's going on in here. Colossal special button. Oh, there's a flamethrower there too anyway, so that'd be a giant pain in the ass. Anyway, it looks like we've got a couple of the rotating dudes, which are scary but not terrible. Anyway, let's take these guys out. Nope, oh, hello. Not entirely sure how I haven't gotten hit like forever, but I'm not gonna complain about it too much. And actually, we're staying pretty well. Let's not get the difficulty plus plus. Twerps are pain in the ass. Luckily, even on this difficulty mode, twerps give you insane amounts of ow, insane amounts of pickups. Kind of wish my attacks would fly faster when they go through motivational blocks, but that's not the case. That would be kind of cool if they got like supercharged as a result. Anyway, there's one more enemy left. Let's just, I guess, lead him. Not entirely sure how much I should lead him, but if I figure if I fire all of my shots into the same spot, he'll eventually die, right? Right. But I should probably go take a look at what stuff he's dropping, too. Come on, man. I should probably back off a little bit so he can't hit me where he is. Looks like he actually is firing at, like, a slight angle or something. Kind of hard to tell. Kind of wish I was closer. Kind of wish he died. There he's dead. Beautiful. End of his reign. So, how did we do in all of that? The answer is, we, we did okay. Our blue XP levels are a little bit on the low side, but apart from that, I'm not actually feeling terribly impeded by what just happened in this room. With any luck, and we won't, we won't be fighting the... Uh, tch -tch -tch. With any luck, we won't be fighting the... Uh, whatever it's called. The really awful boss that I really don't like fighting. The Egg Scrambler, there we go. I was going to say the Maw, and it's like, of course we're not going to fight the Maw. What are... Wander, what are you what are you braining right now? Anyway, let's try this again. Cause if I can reach some of these. Then I can go up and looks like we've got a smorgasbord. It's not really a smorgasbord, but that's going to put us all the way back up to the top as far as blue EXP. Kinda sort of. Not really, but whatever, close enough. I don't think there are any other secrets here. Could be wrong, but uh, really do not feel like sticking around. Framerate has been very un unhappy with me, and I'd like to get this run over and done with before it just completely shits the bed. And... Ooh, hello. Looks like we're fighting this guy again. Was not actually expecting that. Well, I think it will be okay. We've got even more dodging potential than we had the previous time. And 
we move faster, we've got plenty of jumps, we've got the Colossal Special button, which seems to be charging at an inordinate rate for some mysterious reason. I'm pretty happy about that. Probably every time I take out one of his chunks, that actually gives me some charge. Which, is, if that's the case, that's pretty perfect for what we need anyway. We get another Bunker Buster. It feels like this game's just rehashing the same items in my face over and over and over again. I liked the Death Tutu. Uh, that surprises me. But I also like the Bunker Buster, but really when it comes down to it, I don't need either. Because I got the Colossal Special Button, which, you know, will keep the spin bots off my back. Mind you, this is also actually one of my faster runs, come to think of it. I guess we do have the extra speed, and we did hit Cake Down, so it gave us a boost. I guess Nightmare Mode ain't so bad after all. Maybe Joe rebalanced it a little bit or something, or maybe I'm just better. I don't know. I'll, I'll take credit for my successes here. Now anyway, let's take out the homing purple crap, because those are the most dangerous. Arguably, uh, I'm actually wrong. 8-bit cannon's probably the most dangerous. There we go. Torps are dead. Blue EXP come to me. Health come to me. Everything come to me. Top me off. Beautiful. Okay, so, Colossal Special Button. Already almost charged. The only thing that could really sink this run at this point is Invisible Laser Dudes. They would kind of wreck me. Anyway, is this what I think it is? Beautiful. The one thing we didn't have. Armor. Unfortunately, it's really not going to be enough armor to really mitigate the damage. But, oh shit, it's this room. You know that run I was talking about? Where... Uh, everything was awesome-ish. This is the room where I died. Holy shit. Well, you know what? If I die here, I'm not going to be terribly surprised. I'm not going... Yep, there we go. Wow. I lost 90% of my health in... 5 seconds. Damn. That was still a great run. Across the board, loot, gameplay, dodging, everything. Good run. But I got screwed very, very hard in the very, very end. But I'm okay with that, because you know what, when it comes down to it, it's Tower of Guns. You're supposed to die. Winning is winning is for chumps, right? Yeah, yeah, pride, go. Question mark. Anyway, so I will see you guys on the next run of Tower of Guns. And as always, thanks for watching me die. I really appreciate it.